that mean we're going to do some good work? Does that mean you're going to go back to your chapters and say, you know that little 20,000 number was not so good. We're going to get 50,000 out of this community. We're going to get a million out of this community. We're going to get 500,000 out of this community. Why did you start this? <laughs> and we are proud to have the PGA members as, as our... I mean, in all, in all seriousness, the reason we're so successful and have been is the PGA, LPGA teaching division professionals have embraced us. There's a whole bunch of different ways to go after this, right? You're going to find kids in your schools with NSP, or you're going to find them with community partners that you're building in your communities, right? Or you're going to grow more locations for that green grass experience for young people, right? There's so many different ways where you can impact more kids in your community. I think about leadership and vision, what I think about is making the impossible possible. 20 years ago, this right here would have been thought it's impossible. This isn't going to happen. Look where we are today. Look where we're going. And to me, it's three simple steps. It's charting the course. It's communicating the message. It's gathering buy-in as you go along. So, as visionary leaders at our chapters, it's our responsibility chart the course, communicate the message, gather buy-in as we go along. And, uh, you know, we've done that here nationally, and it's just a function of doing it at our local chapters. You know, let's not lose sight of the fact we talk about kids being overweight, but all I have to do is look at the general public to see that they're the models for the fat kids. Um, so, let's go about what we're doing. Okay? I get tired of talking about kids, this and that. We're going to correct this while all the fat parents are sitting at home. All the fat models are sitting around talking about fat kids. So, you know, maybe we ought to grab a hold of ourselves first. Every single child appreciates so much the first team golf program. Most of these kids would never have been on a golf course. You know, we're in Arizona. They drive by them on the school bus. And truly, it's changed 35,000 kids. We've taken already about 1,200 or 1,500 kids to the green grass experiences, plus the instruction in our schools. And we do closures and bulletin boards and all kinds of announcements in the morning about the healthy uh, life skills and about the nine core values. And if you can see the etiquette that is going on now at our schools, we always call it, OK, golf etiquette. Not library voices anymore, it's called that. <laughs> 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 this scenario, you're just practicing. You just keep mm -hmm. talking. Keep talking. Let that brain keep working. When you got stuck, you said an ah. So it's a crutch. And sometimes we don't even realize it. Sometimes speakers sneak them in. You have to be really good to hear them. Because they'll just sneak them in as part of their sentence. So impromptu speaking... You're going to do it all the time, so just be ready for it. If you think you're going back to a meeting somewhere, or a board meeting, or in front of a group, and just happen to be in the audience, be ready. That's the key, is to be ready. In no particular order, our strengths were being rational, analytical, problem-solving, organized, and pragmatic. No. Not all easy. Uh, in terms of our stressors, we did have the we did have down the blue group, but we didn't choose. It. <laughs> our stressors obviously are incompetence, disorganization, irresponsibility, dishonesty, or complainers. Our needs are uh, pretty basic, but uh, very structured. Information planning, our structure, teamwork is very important to us, and respect. And our joys are accomplishing and completing our to-do list so we can start more to-do lists. Uh, so Orange, uh, we really want everyone just to get to work. That would be our, our number one thing. Just go do something. Uh, we believe that we are the dominant minority, which you can see. Um, and we are the straw that stirs the drink. So our strengths are action, vision, we're competitive, we're independent, and we're highly creative. The things that stress us and probably you when you're dealing with us, because we are orange, um, is incompetence, boring, too many rules, too many details, and then we probably put too much on our own plate, and that comes from overload. Hi, Chuck. How are you today? I'm pretty good. How about you? Good, man. Very good. So uh, tell me, how's the going? Um, I don't know. Ask, uh, ask Lori. No, Lori's not here today, so, uh, you know, right now it's just me and you. Uh, how's it going? It's 
going great. From the, from the program. <laughs> incredibly positive feedback from the chapter network related to our guest uh, who served on the panel uh, during our territory meeting as well as the continuing education courses. Uh, uh, as always they enjoyed uh, the BEEP courses and, and that education experience especially for the newcomers uh, in our network and, and wanted to thank the home office staff for making the journey to assist us in impacting our, our regions and our territory as a whole and, and want to thank Al, Kathy, and Henry uh, for it was uh, great working with them and, and having our territory meeting and, and owning it. Uh, it was just a lot of fun and uh, look forward to our, our next engagement together.